The Forgotten Lego Castle Theme. Let's talk about it. The year is 2013. Lego is coming off two successful years, two and a half really, of the Lego Kingdoms theme and looking to build off of it. Or were they? It turns out Lego decided to go in a completely different direction and scratch the Kingdoms line and what they replaced it with is stuck in the shadow of what could have been with the Lego Kingdoms line. Castle 2013, also known as Castle 3, but for this video we'll just refer to it as Castle 2013, was released in 2013. Who would have thought that? It followed up the Kingdoms line to many fans' dismay. This theme ran for all of one year and released five sets total. That's it. In normal circumstances, fans of Lego Castle could let this theme be water under the bridge, but these aren't normal circumstances. No, 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 no. As of 2024, this was the last official LEGO Castle theme, meaning us Castle fans haven't gotten any small sets since this wave all those 11 years ago. Today I'm here to see if this theme is actually good. You might think with only 5 sets LEGO didn't put much effort into this theme, but is that actually the case? Well, without further ado, let's take a look into what LEGO had to offer us back in 2013. There were two factions in this theme. The King's Knights, that combine elements we've seen from previous good factions, and the Dragon Knights, that were once again led by an evil wizard. These Dragon Knights are much of the reason for controversy with this theme, but more on that later. The King's Knights wore a blue that much resembled the blue-violet of the Nice Kingdom 2 line, silver and dark stone gray. They had a lion's crest on their shields, but on most of their torsos you can find a crown crest that looks a lot like the crown knights from the fantasy era. According to the lore of the king's knights, and I don't know if this is official, but this is what I found on a website. They were led by a king and his twin sons. The twins used long range weapons, one preferred a bow and the other a crossbow. There is also a white knight that has no white on him which might make me want to make a custom for him in the future, so look out for that. But other than that, we don't have too much info on this faction. This leads us to the Dragon Knights. They were led by an evil wizard. Hmm. Wonder if Lego has ever had a faction led by an evil wizard before. Guess we'll never know. But they wore black, silver, and red. Their crest is a red dragon's head, which is at least different from the green dragon knights of the kingdom's line, and they do have a red dragon as well. I could not find any lore on these guys, not even like fan lore that I found with the king's knights, but boy do they bring some controversy. The root of this is the aforementioned green dragon knights from the previous castle theme kingdoms. And I'll just put these two side by side on the screen and I'll let you guys be the judge here. In the comments, let me know which one you like better and why. Now for the sets. In total, buying all five of these sets when they were on the shelves was just under $212. Getting all five today in complete condition will cost you just under $848. That's a 400% growth so if you have one of these sets sealed, better hold on to it for a while. And whether the aftermarket price is due to the lack of sales for this theme or just demand from collectors, I, I don't know for sure, but let's just say the sales numbers don't really help this out. I think it is definitely due to a lack of availability on the aftermarket. The five sets in this line were the Forest Ambush, Gold Getaway, The Gatehouse Raid, Dragon Mountain, and The King's Castle. The most expensive at retail being The King's Castle at $100, and The Forest Ambush was the cheapest, costing $12 at retail. Boy, wouldn't it be nice to get a $12 castle set these days. The builds were alright, nothing really stands out, or that we hadn't really seen already. So nothing special really from any of these builds, so I won't really go into detail on that. And that's really all there is to go off of for this theme. There's not much 
put into it. Uh, like like I stated earlier, there really isn't any lore you can find compared to other ones. Like even the Knights Kingdom Two has an entire storyline, and that one is hated probably just as much as this one, if not more, because people don't like the color scheme. But with all that being said, which I know wasn't much, is this theme really as bad as people say? In my opinion, no. But I think LEGO should have kept the Kingdoms line going and used these sets for that line. I do like the minifigures for this theme, but there's just something about those Lion Knights and the Green Dragon Knights that makes me wish they would have gotten another line of sets so LEGO could add to the lore. They were setting up a really nice storyline with the Kingdom set, or the Kingdom's theme, rather, and they just abruptly ended it. But those are my thoughts, but what are yours? Let me know in the comments, and if you guys made it through the video and you like this content, don't forget to like the video, and if you want to stick around for more in the future, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you around. We just hit 200 a couple days ago, and uh, thank you guys for the growth. We'll see where this leads us. But thank you guys so much for watching. It means so much, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you, guys. Thank you.